gentlemen, welcome to day one of 4K. My name is Coach Butt, and today, y'all are gonna get a chance to get y'all flavor. Now, what does that mean? Today, every single one of y'all boys are gonna be having to memorize your flavor because we got a game in a couple weeks. Now, before everybody gets their flavor, does anybody have any questions? Coach, I got a question. Yes, Johnny? How much of our playbook do we need to memorize by tomorrow? Y'all are gonna be getting your first playbook that y'all gotta study by tonight. Except for you, Johnny. Johnny, you gotta memorize all three playbooks by tomorrow on the first day of fall camp. Except for me? Are you kidding, coach? Now with that said, y'all better be skipping dinner tonight and studying your playbooks while the coaches and I go enjoy a nice little meal, ladies. Come on, coach. Buck. Buck off, brother. And don't forget, Johnny. You better memorize all three of those playbooks. Do I make myself clear, Johnny? Yes, coach. I said, do I make myself clear, Johnny? Yes, coach. Let's get out of here. Oh. oh my gosh. What am I gonna do, brother? I'm just gonna have to call Adventure Athlete and see if he has any advice. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello? Is, is, is this Adventure Athlete? Yeah. Hey, this is Johnny. Oh, hey, Johnny. I have a big question for you. My coach just assigned me three playbooks that I have to memorize by tonight. Do you have any advice on how I might be able to study the playbook efficiently and effectively so that I can have it memorized by tomorrow? Well, I'm actually making a video about this right now, so when I'm done, I can actually send it to you. Okay, yeah, send me that video. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, brother. I'll get this video to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye. Thank you. Can I get a... Yeah. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Hopefully Adventure Rabbit sent me that video tonight. Or I'm making you stay up all night with me to study doughweed. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clark Aslett. Better known as Wow, that just gets me fired up every single time. Today's video was gonna be a little bit different, but now I'm gonna be really just getting a chance to sit down and talk with y'all in regard to how to efficiently and effectively study your football playbook so that you can get a chance to really make sure you memorize everything that you're learning in the classroom and be able to translate it onto the field. Before we get into the tips and tricks that I have for you guys today, I wanna to tell you all a little bit about my story personally and my struggles growing up in regard to actually studying my playbook because it was tough for me at one point. Kind of thinking back to my middle school days, I struggled with ADHD and ADD and I still do as well as back in the day, I was diagnosed with mild dyslexia. So when it came to just studying in general, one, it was really hard for me to focus, and two, it was just a struggle really just being able to retain everything that I was learning. So in the classroom, I was struggling as well as in middle school and translating into high school in the beginning, I was also struggling on the football field. So growing up, I found a way that I was able to efficiently and effectively be able to study my football playbook, and I'm now gonna be sharing y'all exactly what I would do. So with that said, the first prop you're gonna be using to be studying your football playbook is, oh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are gonna need a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. For y'all that might not have one of these, go to the dollar store. You could easily pick both a whiteboard and a dry erase marker for a dollar. A dollar? A dollar? A dollar? With that said, you're also gonna need a binder. So I'm gonna be showing you guys basically what my own custom built football playbook looks like. Oh, as y'all can see right here is my playbook. You guys are not gonna be getting a chance to see any of our plays, but I created a template that I'm not gonna be sharing with you guys. So before we dive into my football playbook template, I wanna show you guys just one basic tip in regard to why having a whiteboard and a dry erase pen is key. So as y'all know now that Huddle is probably the biggest platform where college, high school, and middle school teams are being able to record their film and then upload it so then you guys can get a chance to watch and study it. The first tip and trick to making sure that you're gonna be studying your football playbook efficiently and effectively is to be drawing up your plays while you're also watching them on a huddle or watching a recording of them. So what I would typically do is in front of me right here, I'd have my computer. I'd select a play and I'd watch it. And before I watch the play, I would simply draw it up, basically as a quarterback. You always draw your lineman first. I always start with the X in the middle as the center and then the two circles on both sides as the guards and tackles. And then from there, 
because everyone runs a different offense, whether it's the spread or wing T, you'll draw the rest of your players on this whiteboard. You'll test yourself first before the play is actually watched on film if you know what everyone's assignments are. Then after it's played on film, you're gonna compare and contrast to see how well you did. Continuously repeat this about five times for each play until you get it ingrained in your head. The other tip that I have for you guys while you're doing this is to put on some type of instrumental beat. Don't play music that has words to it that can easily get you distracted, but by playing some type of instrumental beat in the background, I always like to put on the Friday Night Light soundtrack, which just is that kind of emotional football vibe soundtrack. I'll play a little clip right here, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. Everyone knows this song. It also just really helps me get in this football mindset and zone. So I play the Friday Night soundtrack while I'm watching film and drawing it up. I really started to see an improvement in just my overall retention in regard to what the actual plays consisted of. And then when the plays would come up, I'd always remember the particular song I was listening to. And then I was able to just kind of use all three of those sensory things to be able to really memorize what each play was and effectively and efficiently memorize the plays. So those are two tips and tricks in regard to how to effectively start memorizing your playbook. Make sure y'all pick up a whiteboard, a dry erase marker. Make sure you're listening to some instrumental type beat. Definitely would recommend the Friday Night Lights soundtrack while you're drawing up your plays and just consistently be looking over and over and over on the film or the huddle playlist of you or your team or the plays at hand or the defense that you might be watching. And if you guys don't have any access to any film, I definitely would recommend y'all either reaching out to your coaches or your parents and asking them if they can film your practices. Because not only can you watch yourself on film, but later on in life, like I'm gonna be showing you guys what my highlights were like back when I was 12 years old. And it's just such a cool experience getting a chance to look back on my journey. So y'all better get a chance to not only document all of your film to then study up on it, but to also save it and then get a chance to see how you've progressed over time. So it is now time to be moving on to my playbook where I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the hacks that I've been able to incorporate because at Linfield College, we've actually had to build our own playbook, but I'm just gonna reiterate again, y'all are not gonna get a chance to see any of our plays, just the template in regard to how I organize everything on a sheet of paper. So I make sure I can see all the plays and remember all the little tasks that each play has that's unique. So let's get rid of the whiteboard here and the expo marker. As y'all can see here, this is my football playbook. Simply went, got a binder, printed out our logo and our letters. Linfield College, Linfield Wildcats. Super cool, right? The first thing y'all are gonna need, some confidential top secret papers that y'all can't see, are some dividers. Right here, this is the first divider. It says Run Game 2016. It's from a long time ago, it's an old puppy. So by having dividers, you're gonna then be able to organize your playbook so then you can put Run Game in one section passing game in one section, maybe goal line offense, maybe hurry up offense. You'll be able to really just organize yourself. With that said, I'm now gonna be showing you guys the actual life hack template for what my football playbook looks like that I built myself. With the dividers, you're also gonna to wanna to get these plastic little covers just because your paper in your playbook can easily be ripped. If you get a little bit of water in it, all the work you put in for writing all your notes is toast. At the top of this paper, it says Linfield football, passing game quarterbacks. I play quarterback, wow. As you can see at the top, it says name of play. This is where you can write down a play that you're running. For example, regular 9X, nasty back scat, 200 jet, Y stick, X looking on 101, ready, hit. Okay, you wouldn't say the 101 part, but you just put regular 9X, nasty back scat, 200 jet, Y stick, X looking. That would be the name of the play at the top. Then as you guys can see on both the left and right, there are some X's and O's where the linemen are at. So then you can draw the play as if it's on the right hash, and then as well if it's flipped on the left hash. So then you can see both sides of what the player looks like. Instead of just drawing your plays to one side of the field and always having the nice pass to one side, you can get a chance to just see what both look like on paper. Then you've got series notes, as y'all can see down here, where maybe you have a particular play and if it's run against this defense, you don't run that play against that defense. Or maybe you're only supposed to take a little drop. Or maybe on your route, you're not supposed to hammer pepper stick. Or maybe the running back's supposed to check from the mic to the will, but now this time he has to check from the mic to the Sam. You can add those little notes down in there, as well as for quarterback specifically, you can write down the protection and then the running back route, cause that's something that we gotta remember. So let's say you're a lineman. You can still put the name of play at the top. You can still put series notes. Then you could put in quarterback protection and then maybe a little side note in regard to what would happen if the quarterback audible and change the play at the line. What would a potential pass play be? Or what would a potential protection be if you were to change the play at the line? So this right here, guys, this is the template that I made myself in regard 
into how to efficiently and effectively develop your playbook as well as y'all saw a little bit in regard to how to study it efficiently. I hope you guys enjoyed this skit with Coach Buck because Coach Buck might be coming back soon with some other videos, ladies and gentlemen. And I really hope Johnny Giuliano gets a chance to see this video. At the end of the day, guys, what it really comes down to is just committing about 30 minutes a day just to really getting a chance to go over through your playbook. As well as it's always awesome getting a chance to meet with your receivers, your running backs, your linemen, your quarterbacks, your DBs, all, all, all different position groups and study together. And uh, it even works better when you have a huge whiteboard and you can all just get up and write those plays on the board. And at the end of the day, when it comes to your competition, you're QB and you're competing against a guy, receiver competing against a guy, at any position, the separation comes in the preparation. Your coaches are gonna play the people that they trust, so make sure you become that guy. If you guys have any more questions in regard to anything football specific, I really wanna start answering them in videos for y'all, so leave a comment down below. I really hope I got a chance to answer your guys' questions effectively, as well as I'd also challenge y'all to do some more research online in regard to how to study your playbook in case there's some areas where I didn't cover it. I really showed you guys everything from a quarterback's perspective, which as a quarterback, I gotta know everything on the field and what everyone's doing. So that's why I think my advice and opinions are gonna bring you guys value even if you're not a quarterback. I hope you guys enjoyed my most recent video, which was my college football trick shots in Walmart. And lastly, big shout out to my boy Mason Yelkin for helping me film this video. I'm gonna be sure to tag his YouTube down in the description below, so go show him some love. He's about to start documenting his high school football journey. And I would challenge all of you guys that are just entering in high school to be doing the same. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we end this video, I want to give you guys the opportunity to get a chance to win these Rydell Power SPK shoulder pads. I'm doing a giveaway that's going to be live on my Instagram account tonight. So if you're watching this video right now, pause and go make sure you follow me down on Instagram and check out the post where I'm going to be giving away these shoulder pads. With that said, I want to say thank y'all so much for showing love and support. And if you want to get a chance to win these shoulder pads, check out my most recent Instagram post for details. Yeah.